Welcome back to the RV Solar Channel. And uh, today we're doing a little bit of science and a little bit of solar. So stick around if you wanna watch somebody do something that common sense says maybe you shouldn't. Uh, if you clicked on this, it's probably because you saw the thumbnail. And today we're gonna be testing uh, two solar panels. One that is perfectly good and one that has fallen off an RV because the wind picked it up and threw it on the ground. And uh, there is not much left to it. As you can see, it is pretty mangled up. Look at this, this is completely spider webbed. Uh, it does not appear damaged or burned on the backside. So I believe all the cells are intact and quite honestly, I am curious what's gonna happen. And I kind of feel like that's the fun of this. Oh, by the way, got my lab coat on because we're doing science-y stuff. So back to our apparatus here. Um, we've got uh, two controllers inside here. We'll take a look at that. We're gonna data log all this information. We've got uh, a line labeled Solar 2. And I think we're gonna feed that to this one. And uh, some of you very, very smart uh, viewers will know that this one probably says Solar 1. So we'll hook that one up to that one. And the sun's just peeking out. And let's see what happens, shall we? All right, class, I'd like to get a little participation. We've got two 200 watt panels here. Uh, I'd like you to put two things in a comment down below. One, how much power you think is gonna come out of this panel? Keep in mind, it's August, early August here in Minnesota. Uh, we do have pretty good sun. It's about 2.30ish in the afternoon. Uh, and then this panel here, also 200 watts. How much you think is gonna come out of that panel? This is a little messy still. I have not had a chance to update our experiment rig in the six months we've been in the new shop. But uh, here's our setup. We've got Solar 1, Solar 2 labeled. And look at this, we got Solar 1, or Solar 2, Solar 1 labeled. I do not have the breakers labeled, but trust me when this one's directly wired to there that this is the break for Solar 1. Uh, I think we're good to turn these on. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's zoom in, this is serious stuff. Let's see what happens here. All right, and the race is on. And the race is on indeed. Wow, I was actually expecting uh, the busted panel to produce more than that. That is interesting. I was also expecting the other one to produce a little bit more. Oh, we're in shade a little bit. As you can see, we are under a cloud out there. So let's keep an eye on this. You know what, I'm gonna let this run for a little bit and let's see what happens when we get some real sun. All right, as you can see, we're coming out of cloud now. We got full sun. Let's go take a look. Uh-huh, that's where we're at. The reason why the watts are going down is because the battery has reached absorption voltage, so amps are being limited. But I didn't realize that at the time. What I'm estimating that busted up panel gets about 15% or so. Huh. Well, I think that'll about do it. Uh, you know, I guess it turns out a panel that's beat up that bad uh, does not work very well anymore. You do get a little bit of output, but uh, I was actually thinking it would only be about 10 to 20% down. Uh, I was actually really surprised. Uh, I was hoping, you know, to say, well, if you're in a Mad Max type situation, maybe you'd still want to keep panels like that around, but that one was really crumpled up. Now, we do have another panel back here. Let's go take a look at that one real quick. So this is a panel that we uh, swapped out for a customer and there's just a little bit of cracking down there. And this one still outputs, I would say pretty much full rated uh, power for the most part. Maybe it's down a tick. We did notice there's a big crack ar up around here. I'm not sure how that happened or what happened there, but uh, is what it is. May keep this around just for testing. Yeah, that other panel, I think it's gone, it's garbage. So, uh, 
If you want me to do some more experiments, and I'd love to do some more, uh, keep wearing this white lab coat, uh, leave a comment down below on what you'd like me to do. And if I can get time, I will. We are pretty busy in the RV solar shop, SOTA Solar. Uh, we just, we got a couple of Airstreams out back. We got a whole bunch of things uh, lined up that we're working on. But uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around this long into the video. And until next time, you stay charged out there and uh, do something fun. All right.